Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Sean here. I uh, just want to let you know a really good book I'm reading. Um, I've read it once and I'm rereading it, so it's really good. It's called uh, Words That Work by uh, Frank Lunst. He's a doctor, apparently. I kind of have my doubts he's a doctor, but <laughs> I'll roll with it. Um, anyway, it's really interesting. I just used it. I was reading, you know, like maybe a quarter way in again, and I was doing my new show, which comes out today. Um, that's uh, Visceral City at uh, 4th Street Fine Art in Berkeley. Anyway, for I was reading about it, and they're like, oh, you got it first. Um, one of the things that really caught my eye was in a political campaign, especially for, I believe it was uh, Perot, Ross Perot, who was kind of this goofy guy that came out. He had, like, the ears were, like, out to here. It was, like, gigantic ears. They were literally sticking out like this. <laughs> and you're like, dude, who's this guy? But he was, like the self-made oil guy in Texas and they did a test group. And what they were seeing is if you introduce the guy um, with his history and then kind of um, some of his policies and et cetera, and then you get to um, the candidate that actually helped people win him over. And they thought, Oh, this guy's pretty interesting. But if you skipped kind of the history and where he came from and all that, and then you just went straight into the pitch with the guy, they didn't believe him. And then if you said the, um, the history and bio afterwards, it really didn't matter. So, I immediately said, bam, I got a, um, I definitely wrote a new bio for my show, you know, and I really connected it with some of the current events, um, you know, with Trump stripping kids from their parents. It's like, it's obviously wrong, but apparently some people think it's right and defend it. You're like, it's summer camp. You're like, it's not summer camp, asshole. <laughs> anyway, um, another really good point in this book is the use of simple words. Um, now, probably no one likes Trump at this point except his really visceral base, but um, the thing that he does extremely well, he uses really small words. So, for example, during the Puerto Rico crisis, um, to bring it up, everyone heard it and they're like, oh my God, it sounds so stupid. He's like, Puerto Rico is surrounded by big water. And of course, like, everyone thinks, especially if you're really educated, you know, I got a master's degree, I'm not trying to brag, but just this area is really highly educated. And you're like, no, idiot, you just call it the ocean, you know? Any idiot knows ocean, right? And even, you know, low-class people, they probably know it's ocean, but they've probably never seen ocean. So it's kind of a, a really abstract... There's a lot of people that live, you know, in the middle of nowhere, and they never make it to the coast or haven't been yet. And so that that the frame of reference is just like, oh, there's a little bit of water on the coast, and it goes around the globe, and you don't really put it together, but if you say big water... <laughs> You kind of get the point that Puerto Rico is surrounded by big water. So um, definitely you want to use those terms when you're trying to pitch someone. Um, you know, for certain things, you can pitch very sophisticated intellectual words, but you're only going to reach an audience of that level. So if you want to pitch to um, a much wider audience, use small words, and you're going to reach everyone. The intellectual are going to think you sound like an idiot, but they understand what you're saying as well. So it's very clear to everyone what you're saying. Um, you may not agree with what you're saying, <laughs> but if Leafs, you know, the main thing is if you get your point across. So if, if, if it just goes in one ear and out the other, it doesn't matter how good your message is. So you really need to get boiled on that message, get it simple. It gets in their brain. And then if it really appeals to them, then they'll boom, they'll take an action. But if it's really complicated, they're like, oh, this is just, I can't figure out what the hell they're saying. You know, like when Donald Rumfeld, I mean, he purposely was kind of like double speak. He said, uh, where there are the known knowns, the known unknowns, and the unknown unknowns. And everyone's like, what kind of double speak bullshit is this? I mean, there is a, a ring of truth to that. But it really just sounds like you're spinning the truth, which he kind of was in there. <laughs> but, it, he, you know, he was saying a real truth. But the fact that since it was so complicated and no one knew what the hell he was saying, it just... I mean, you know what known and unknown knowns are, but it just sounds like no one talks like that, right? So it just sounds completely idiotic to explain your point that way. So, you know, even though Donald Trump has some terrible policies he does have he's very eloquent not eloquent but a very simplified speaker which gets your message across to the widest base as possible which is how you win an argument or at least get your argument out there and then people say oh that's totally wrong ripping kids away from their parents for that example for example per se but um yeah you definitely want to use small words there's a lot more in the book um but again i'm only a quarter way in i'm kind of rusty so i'm not it's not really clicking what the heck is in this book anymore, but I highly recommend it and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys.